Now, as you can see, it's applying a new layer. So we're going to start painting this rust. If you look at our render tree, you see the first layer, which is the base color, which is the silver metal color. And then we have the red rust on the second layer. With the object selected, go to Property, Weight Map. Now what I'm going to do right now is rename this. This is important so that you don't lose track of what you're working on. We're going to rename it Red Rust. As you can see in the object, we have Red Rust. The next thing we have to do is connect the texture with the weight map. Click on the X and select Map Lookup. Map Lookup instantly finds the Red Rust file. since it's the only map we have, and it selects that map by default. So we select the map by pressing W. Make the radius a little bit smaller, and we can start painting a little bit of the rust wherever you want. Control W brings up the brush property page, and this is where we can change the opacity. What I'm going to do is leave it at 100% and erase with the right mouse button. Now I'm going to erase everything and start from scratch. I'm going to start painting with less opacity. Let's get a little bit closer and start painting wherever we want with a little bit of rust. We can add a little bit to the hardness. We want a little more on this side. The more pressure we apply to the tablet, the more rust we will get. And it's starting to get a nice rusty look to it. If you can see the texture, if you just follow the Photoshop philosophy, the red texture should be on top in the layer order. So we're going to need to go to Edit and choose Layer Editor. Go to Edit, Preferences, and select the Stack View. Now we have the base color on the bottom, then the silver metal image, then the rust on top. Let's add a new texture and layer. Select the Object, choose Texture, Add Image, New from File, and we're going to add this Rust. Go to the Advanced tab and set some tiling. Something like that. And let's add a weight map. Object selected, weight map, let's rename it, and it's going to be Rust Circle. Select Map Lookup and select Rust Circle. Now I want to start painting the circles. Make sure you're in Rust Circle weight map and you can start painting. Let's see what our opacity is. 100%. Okay, the texture is tiled, so we select one of the circles we want, and using a smaller radius, we can erase with the right mouse button. We can switch the opacity a little bit and start erasing around the edges of the circle. Let's add a second one over here on the bottom. 
middle mouse button to make the radius bigger. It looks like this one. And then we erase the rest. Right mouse button to erase. We adjust the opacity and we paint a little bit on the edges. Right, something like that. Okay, nice. So we're going to add a new layer. Let's add one more rust layer. Same routine. We're going to add a weight map. Select property, then weight map. This one is going to be called Yellow Rust. We connect to the weight map. Make sure you have the Yellow Rust weight map selected. Let's adjust the radius opacity and start the paint, especially on the borders, on the edges. Give it a little bit more opacity. We're going to add a bright layer but remember that we can remove it if we want to. So let's switch to a little less opacity. And then we start softening the edges so they're not that hard. Here we can switch the order of the layers. We have this right now. It's on the top. If you want to cover these other guys, just select the layer and move it up. It's similar to working in Photoshop. We could put the red layer on top or down one or more layers. So if I want to keep painting in this red, just select the red rust weight map and keep painting the red. Also, the blending type influences a lot. So let's select, um, for example, this guy and start changing or blending our types. Out, plus, rounded plus. Let's find the one we want. Darken, hard light. We like this one. So let's pump up the anti-alias and see how it looks. There are some advantages working here. For example, if we don't like this texture, we can double click on it, select New from File, and switch to this one, the Rust one, for example. The program automatically changes the whole texture and then refreshes. So let's return to the one we had before. Rust and Black Metal is this one over here. I'm going to turn off the texture controls for a few seconds. This way, just by selecting any of the weight maps we have, we can keep painting. Press Control W to get brush properties. We want more opacity. Lower the anti-alias for a faster refresh, so it's faster when we're painting. I'm going to add a little bit more red rust and we can start painting wherever we want. The next thing we're going to do is to add texture with bump mapping. Then we'll learn how to transfer all those bump maps and detail from this high resolution door to this low resolution door.